Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good spring so far, doing some good fishing, uh, getting out and having some adventures like I always advise to do. Uh, hope you guys are getting some of those guys. Walleye, perch. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get out in any perch this year, and uh, I think, yep, this spring I got skunk so far on those guys. Good thing the opener soon because I need to get into some. So stay tuned. We got a lot to talk about. All right, guys. Welcome back. I asked everybody on my uh, community post what you guys wanted to see today, uh, this Sunday, and this is basically what I had to come up with for the time being because one, it's gonna snowstorm all day today. Uh, what is it? It's like it's like April twenty something. Yeah, we should be done with snow right now, but we're not. So short rods have been put away for a while. Um, obviously, that's my rod rack over there. You can see that. Um, been chasing those guys all spring no luck with those just kind of been grinding and grinding and I did get out and to do some uh, pan fishing and obviously if you guys aren't new you know like what's going on but if you're kind of new here and you guys haven't seen any of my uh, recent videos because you don't have the notification bell on I'll, I'll put those up here for you uh, well, I'll put my latest video up there, which was like shore fishing. Uh, for all you guys that go shore fishing a lot, um, I do it too, but I do have a boat, so I do take advantage of using that. Uh, some of the things I wanted to talk about today, though, are I had some ideas for possibly a Thursday video, and I wanted to get some feedback from you guys. Uh, please, in the comment section below, if you've seen last uh Tuesdays last Tuesday's tackle tip Tuesday that I put together um let me know what you guys think about those videos I I mean when I talk about having tackle to talk about oh well let's do this if I don't kill myself first with this avalanche I I, I mean tackle tip Tuesdays is just all about trying to help you guys learn how to use the baits better uh the last one was on actually these guys right here in the bag uh these kalins it's just a deadly bait i mean it's one of the best baits i've used in a long time i'm not even sponsored by them and it's you know probably free advertisement for those guys but realistically it, they catch you fish um it's just like these things in the winter time everybody thinks it's a joke these are those ultralight rip and wrap number threes um it's, you know, it looks like kind of like a gimmicky thing or people just might not understand how to use it. And I want to do more videos on how to help you guys actually use the baits you buy. Because it's like, oh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. There's about 55 to $60 worth of lures in here, basically. This little box. Uh... I want to know how to use all those. So I hope these kind of videos help you out. Uh, obviously today I'm not going to be doing any fishing because it's just nasty out and I can't get out uh, probably till tomorrow. And if I can get out tomorrow, you'll, you'll see that video anyways. But uh, I was thinking of doing some videos on, like I said, Thursdays. And it's because I hung that up. Well, I mean, I hung it hung that guy and that guy up so that's my old personal best perch which i mean it doesn't look like anything special right now especially next to that thing uh and then that's my personal best uh walleye well that used to be my personal best perch i've since thrown back my personal best perch a couple different times because i already had a perch mounted and i didn't feel like feel the need to mount any more fish uh, instead of like that walleye or whatever and i can get replicas now and all that stuff so it, it just makes more sense uh but i'm thinking on thursdays of doing uh I, i'm trying to think like a either like a trophy thursday or like um like a fish tails thursday or something like that where i talk about catches like previous catches or like Things that might not have been on video in the history and like in my history of fishing or timeline of fishing because I've been fishing for a long time and I've caught millions of things and I have hundreds of photos uh, but not always a video to go with them. So 
Everybody always said I was good at telling a fish tale, and <laughs> I figured I'd see if you guys want to hear about any of those things. Uh, obviously, I would accomp uh, accompany the stories with some uh, baits that I use, so you guys could see what I used um, and like where things came from. So, like, I'll give you a little snippet into that thing. Uh, actually, yeah, I have the bait. Where do I have that thing? I have it over here. Okay, so that's an ice fishing walleye, and I caught it on one of these guys right here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can get it to focus on that little guy. But this is a very simple little jig that works really good, but I'll tell you, I wasn't using it for that, so we'll go. We'll leave it with that in, in case you guys do want to hear some of these uh, fish tales that I have to put together. Um, but obviously, like I, you know, I, I have most of the baits and stuff that I've used over the years. Uh, there's a bait that's like this thing hanging off of here. That's not what I used to catch that fish. That's an entire different story, and I kept it because. It's just a crazy story to go with that, you know, bait. Uh, I have the story on that fish, and you know, it's there's there's endless ends <laughs> endless stories to go along with everything that I basically have ever caught. And yeah, I mean, all you guys have your own fish stories and stuff like that, and it's one of those things that I I enjoy hearing. Like, a lot of people think it's just kind of a bunch of hot air, uh, you know, listening to fish tales and stuff like that. But that is a big part of fishing and why I enjoy doing it. Especially if you run into anybody that's new uh, that you've never fished with before. So say, like, I'm new to walleye fishing and I've gotten some really cool stories to go with that. But you're really uh, proficient at it and you got some stories to go with those guys. That's how I learn. And that's how a lot of people learn is they, you know, you hear a story and you go, wow, so that guy threw uh, a hot dog on a tip up and caught his personal best northern pike, you know, 45 inch northern pike. So it's like now I'm going to go put a hot dog on a tip up and catch mine or possibly catch mine. It's something new to try and it gives you guys a challenge and ideas to, you know, go out and play with yourself. Um, I was trying to think of, so like the, the big thing here, if you guys don't care about the story time, uh, I, I wish I would like to do story time. It would give me something else to, you know, film for you guys. Uh, the baits, uh, any kind of bait recommendations, uh, aside from telling me if you want more tackle tip Tuesdays to go obviously with the baits. And you know what, how to fish them, where to fish them, when to fish them. Uh, some maybe some accompanying video to kind of go off of what I was doing. Um, if you haven't seen last week's Tackle Tip Tuesday, I'll put it up top here in a card, and I want you guys to go watch it. And when you go watch it, uh, leave comments on that one, and basically, you know, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you enjoy it, comment below if you enjoy it. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can comment below that you don't you know, care for those videos and you just kind of want to see something else. Um, the other thing, in the comment section of this video, please uh, let me know if there's any specific adventures or styles you uh, wanted, wanted to know. I know somebody commented, I can't remember his name now, but he, he commented and said that he wanted to get an understanding of how I choose the lake, I believe, uh, to go chase the certain fish. So not necessarily a spe specific fish in mind, but like, so like if I wanted to go chase big walleye like that, real fat, hefty walleye, how do I choose the lake? Um, what do I choose to fish it with? The, you know, the when, the where, the how, and the why. Put it all together and make it so that you guys can go do the same thing. So if you guys wanna see videos like that, comment that below uh just you know say like you want to see like explanation videos i guess you could call them or like uh like how to find fish videos just 
you guys, you, you're, you're smart people. You know how to comment below. Just uh, leave comments and let me know what you think about that. Um, and then second, or well, we'll kind of go wrap this up. I'm going to make it really simple here. Um, I want to take people fishing. I'm really thinking about starting to take people fishing. But I have an idea, and it, it'll basically kind of feedback so you guys can get out and fish with me. I have a lot of gear. Uh, I plan on getting more gear. It's never going to end. It's an addiction. You guys know what's up if you fish a lot. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't get a chance to get out on bodies of water. Like uh, a lot of you guys said to me, you know, you don't have boats and you don't have the ability to get out on a, uh, a boat. And I like the idea of showing people how you can get a boat like mine for reasonably cheap and how to build one over time so you're not spending a bunch of money you'd be amazed at what you can build if you just part something together uh, it took me like two or three years to part my boat together to where it's at now uh, and ba I'm not joking I started with such a cheap start that almost any one of you guys I mean I know 10 year olds that have that much money in their bank accounts to start so just if leave those in the comments below but uh as far as fishing with people i'm thinking if you guys made it this far in the video i'll just give you the the secret here the secret is going to be this every time i hit a thousand subscriber milestone so like i'm 400 away or something like that from uh 3, subscribers i will uh i'll do like a random drawing or a contest on a video uh and basically, if you guys, you know, get selected in the contest and you're, if you live within reasonable distance, I'll take you fishing. And I think that's a good trade-off. I really hope you guys, uh, you know, enjoy the idea of going out fishing. And I can show you guys something new when we're out there and, you know, it'll be something new to go. Uh, or something new to do. It'll be fun. And I really like the idea of getting, getting people on the water. Uh, I want to do like a meetup in the near future here i'm thinking possibly next ice season would be the best though just because then you can get a lot more people in one area so i think uh i think we're gonna think about that one for a little while but i hope all the stuff in this video made sense to you guys i hope you enjoyed it and like i said leave all the comments below if you guys uh have any suggestions leave those below and remember if you're not new here you know what's up but if you're new here please just remember to